So it's about 40 degrees with a high of 45 and I was feeling like something warm. So I whipped out the steel cut oats for breakfast today. I measured a third cup of oats and put them in my bowl. And then I got three fourths of a cup of water, poured that in, then a little bit of salt just to mix the flavor. Popped it in the microwave for two and a half minutes on 50% power and let it go. Cannot wait to taste that yumminess. I made some coffee cubes this morning so I'd have some ready for later. I made half pumpkin spice and half mocha. This is the kind of tea that I like to use in my Keurig. It's English breakfast, loose leaf tea, and it's organic. I get it from Amazon, and I will link it below. I also like to put it in the reusable K-cup, and then I can just wash it out and fill it whenever I need to. I get about four cups of tea every time. I sweeten with Truvia. The large packet of the, the baking blend and the small packet are about the same price but you get about three times as much sweetener in the envelope. So that's why I buy that and I refill. I also got some iced coffee put in the freezer for later. This is my yummy cup of tea ready to drink for later. Ah, oh, my oatmeal is ready. Now all that's left is to add some sweetener, mix it up and eat some breakfast. So there is a brown sugar blend of Truvia that's very, very yummy. So I use about two teaspoons of that. It's about the same sweetness as brown sugar. It doesn't take a whole bunch to sweeten your bowl of oatmeal and it's very, very good. So I didn't even add any milk because it was plenty creamy for me. It's all stirred up and ready to eat. Mmm, it looks so good. Okay, so yes, I'm a weirdo. Look at the temperature, it's a little chilly now. Welcome fall. Hi friends, it's Friday morning at 7.30 and I'm still editing yesterday's vlog <laughs> because I can't get my brain together enough to comprehend if it makes any sense or not. <laughs> so I'm about to put on This Is Us and finish editing. I started last night and then oh, my stinking iPad popped up this little thing for an update for a new operating system because it does that periodically. And I didn't read the little box carefully enough and I thought it was one of those little things that pops up all the time that says undo editing or continue. And so I hit whatever and it went updating. And I went, no, nah, no, I don't want to update my bed in the middle of editing my vlog. So then I had to wait until it uploaded the update. I am happy to report that I am finished editing yesterday's vlog. I'm about to save it and upload it. Yay! And I've got This Is Us playing so I can enjoy the next episode. Yay! Oh my goodness. This is what I was looking for. I knew there'd be something, so I just hopped on Pinterest when there was a commercial break from This Is Us. And I just put in fact family and this was on like the third thing that I looked at. This is exactly what I wanted. Check this out. This is so cool. Look what they make. Look at that. All the pieces are there. Little ghosties. <clears throat> Here's where it came from. Primaryinspired at gmail.com is the lady that did it. But let me see if I can find her. Like the name of her thing. Her GPT site. Oh. Brenda Frady. There you go. I just showed you. So I will try to link like the Pinterest link that I got it from because this is not on a TPT site. This is from a Dropbox. It's a freebie. I mean, what could be better than that? So all you have to do is just pick the colors that you want to copy it onto like for construction paper. And I'm thinking since we don't have a lot of time in our intervention group, I might need to cut the pieces out for them. Maybe. Possibly. Or we could make it a two-day thing. I don't know. Except the, the first day that we do interventions is on Halloween. So I don't really think I want to... 
keep it going after that maybe i don't know we'll see but i'm so excited yes exactly what i wanted so i've been looking for resources to teach fact families and to make it more fun because they're going to be getting the lessons through go math as well we're kind of teaching interventions for these in tandem with the actual regular teaching so it's a little goofy this time around i'm not i talked about this a couple weeks ago <clears throat> when we decided how to do the next round of interventions and i just kind of have given up voicing my opinion or professional judgment or whatever and just kind of go with it now because it doesn't make any difference what i say so anyway i just went okay sure so I'm going to try to make it fun so we can have a nice time next week and I'll have something to, exciting to look forward to. Woohoo! So I was poking around on demand and I went, oh my gosh, how did I not know that Grays was back on? So now I can binge watch that. Yay! So I just finished binge watching Grey's Anatomy. That show can make you cry as much as this is us. And I came downstairs so I could sit in the family room and watch Seal Team because I fell asleep through the first one and we haven't gone back and watched any other of the other ones. So in order for my husband to be able to watch it, he wanted me to watch the first one that I slept through so I'd know what was going on. So I'm about halfway through that one. And I'm going to cut out my Monster Kit things. Here are my awesome scissors. My Monster Kit labels and my Monster IDs. And I've already got my Ziploc bags all counted out and they're in here inside a big Ziploc so I can even attach the labels to my bag like so. I have the Play-Doh and googly eyes. I don't know that I'm going to do beads, but I have pipe cleaners. I have those upstairs. Onyx keeps getting into that bag from Dollar Tree and she's driving me bananas. So I stuck it in my bedroom and closed the door because I was keeping it by me and then she just kept getting into it. She was biting on the bag, ripping on the bag, jumping on the bag pulling on the bag and I moved it and moved it and moved. I'm like I'm not messing with this anymore so I just stuck it in the bedroom and there is David Boreanis so cute I've been watching him since he was on Buffy this is SEAL team that I'm watching and there's one of my favorite people to watch on this show David Boreanis I need to put the fireplace on because it's a little chilly today so I think I'm going to do that and I'll be back later to show you my progress. All right, I was able to get all these cut out. So now I have my bag of goodies. I'm gonna start filling these and I'll show you what they look like when they're finished. I sent my husband out to pick up pizza and it's National Potato Day. So happy National Potato Day to all of you potato lovers. Um, this might go up early enough for you to, to uh, benefit from that. Mitten says, National Potato Day? You're kidding, I love potatoes. Sure. She's, she's in shock and speechless, for sure. So I got like a text from the McDonald's mobile app saying, Happy National Potato Day. In honor of that, here is a coupon for buy one any size fry, get one free. And so my daughter and I just decided, yes, please. And so my poor husband is having to run and get movies for tonight, pizza. We're out of milk. And also pick up the fries. So poor guy. He's going to deserve quite a break when he gets home. Well, he won't have to get up early tomorrow, so that'll be really, really nice. So, I just gave food to the kitties because they were starving to death, they thought. And I went ahead and gave some food to the outside kitties, but none of them were out there. I just, I called them, and I saw one little kitty out in the yard, way far away, and I started talking to it. And then it started, like, trotting, and then it started running toward the deck. It was so cute. So, he is one of the kitties that started the whole cat thing when he was a kitten we kind of rescued his mama and he and his sisters and brothers and he still hangs around so it's been a good hmm, five years now i'd say he's really our first kitty he and the one that caitlin calls freak show i just call her freaky that she comes around sometimes too she'll climb up the tree to go in the tree house with caitlin which is really cute she's the only one that'll do it so they're the two original kitties that started the whole cat farm thing going on out here so i'm gonna try to get a little bit of these monster kits put together and show you the finished product all right there's one kit ready to go Woo! i don't have my stapler down here so i just taped that little thing on the top of there and i think i'll just wait and staple them because i think they'll stay on a lot better but just for demonstration purposes i've got a little thing of this is from dollar tree so it's called like i think it's just called dough <laughs> just dough not play-doh 
But they have the party packs of Play-Doh you can get at Walmart or Target. But these are, you get eight for a dollar. So you can't beat that. And that's enough size to make a decent monster. And I've got some different kind of googly eyeballs. All of this came from Dollar Tree. So it comes in a little package like this. And you get like, I think it's 60 eyeballs. Let me look at the thing in here. Well, the pie cleaners come in 45. And the eyeballs come in 60 count. So you get 30 sets of eyeballs. I thought I'll throw in one of each size eyeball to throw in there. Play Doh, and then of course the pipe cleaners just stick in there for antenna and arms and whatever. I thought that'd be cute. And if I, I think I have beads at school, I could throw those in there, but I probably won't because I think that's enough stuff to make a decent monster. I also have monster fruit snacks that I think I may give with this. Probably not in the bag with it, but maybe in the bag. I don't know. I don't want them to put those inside the monster, so. And they'll also have, oh, I forgot to put this in there. This will go in there too. So I'll put that behind. So it'll look like this. Something along those lines when I get it. I think they will like them. So I'm going to get to work and get all of these packaged up. Maybe before my husband comes home. Probably not. That is okay. If I don't finish, I will be fine. So I will talk to you later. All right. I'm ready to... Enjoy the evening with my favorite guy, my favorite cats, favorite pizza. Celebrate National Potato Day. Woo! And a fire in the fireplace. Yay. And a movie about to start. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.